Hi guys, if you want to know how I made this cute bantu knot on Samara, just keep watching. You will definitely get to see everything in this video. First off, I started with prepping up her hair. You can see me combing from the tip of her hair down to the root of her hair. I already washed her hair yesterday and yeah, the next thing is for me to make her hair. So whenever I wash her hair, I of course put them into protective hairstyles and then when I'm ready to make them, I still put my hair growth creams and all of that but when I want to make the hair, I go ahead to put them again, massage it into her scalp and then start braiding her hair. So on today's video, I was thinking of the easiest um, hairstyle to make her since we had plans of going to the park something that won't take much time this hair took me about 45 minutes or there about it wasn't and you know sammy she's not always sitting at a place so it didn't take me so much time to make this hair actually it was just a very quick one so what i did after prepping her hair i started with sharing her hair into portions tying it out so that it would be very easy for me to work with and yeah that is what i actually did and you know she has a full hair a fuller hair in front and long so the best thing for me to do was like i made the hair the hair sharing i didn't i didn't like make it in a straight line i think i i made something like round 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 so at the front side i shared it into two two parts which is what i just did now um i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but i know hopefully why this video goes on you get to understand so i start with braiding out her hair with brazilian wool i had already done the two behind and after sharing this hair i got like nine portions that were nine shares how do i put it so it wasn't that much and i took it bit by bit i made sure to like fix her hair into the brazilian wool while i braid so that it won't interfere at the end of um the braiding when i want to cut out excesses and all of that and i'm not braiding out the whole hair totally you remember you don't have to get this to the root of your child's hair so that it doesn't pull her hair i just braid it like somehow halfway and i start twisting out as i'm twisting it will be coiling but i will still control the coiling myself because if you twist all the way the way out without controlling it or putting you see how i put my hand there just to control it it will really really pain your child trust me i tried it out initially Sammy complained of pains so i started with supporting it with my hand and this was what i did i mean the hair is so cute i will twist it and roll it down 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 to the root and that is basically just that nothing else i'll let you to watch this video and when i find it um necessary to come and explain more i will still come on here and explain but for now i think this is the basics of what you need to know um why this video goes on so don't go nowhere keep watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe like this video share if you can and follow us if you're not following us okay um you it will gladden our hearts to see you follow so let me do this before i let you guys watch this i thought of like making the whole bantu knot stuff and it wasn't like giving me a very cute vibe so in my head i was like okay you know what just weave out some part of the hair just weave out some part of the hair um yeah and add it up somewhere so that was what i did i didn't just want to make it look like the regular bantu knot we all know so i weaved out some part of her front hair and added it to the bantu knot hair directly behind of that weaving i don't know if you get what i'm saying but just watch you hopefully get what i'm saying i hope you enjoy this video stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the vlog
The best part of this hair for me that I like so much is the fact that kids can do it and adults can do it, right? So I just finished um, making all the bantu knots and I came over to this side of the hair to do it. Remember I said while I'm doing it, I'm trying to support with one hand so that it doesn't go so so tight on my girl. Okay, from her reaction, I noticed that it was a bit tight. I started loosening up. And I was done with all the things. I was, I started cutting out the excesses from the wool. Be sure not to cut your daughter's hair. Be sure of what you're cutting so you don't cut your daughter's hair and regret. And as you can see in this small clip or in this video, her face came out and it, it already looks so beautiful. So I started holding all the bantus that I made with these black bands. Yeah, to match. Yeah? I will still add accessories. You know when you are making kids hair, kids hair cannot go without accessories unless you just don't want to do it but I mean adding accessories to kids hair makes it more beautiful. After holding all this um, bantu with the black band and you can see the weaving that I made, I, I went on to add the accessories and it looks so colorful and beautiful. You can see, oh Sam is smiling, oh look at the hair, let me know what you thought her. Subscribe if you haven't, like if you can. See you in our next video. Bye-bye.